Today, the Legislative Women's Caucus unveiled their package of bills aimed at increasing abortion access in California. Our political reporter Morgan Reiner joined the lawmakers today. Morgan, California has already enshrined the right to abortion. So what do the lawmakers see as the biggest threat now? privacy. That's why that's what the lawmakers say is the theme in the latest package of abortion related bills. One of the bills would make all the information that women put into apps like the ones that would track a woman's period or fertility private. It's been nearly nine months since the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade. Since then, voters approved Proposition 1 to enshrine the right to abortion in California. The legislature passed a package of more than a dozen bills, and the governor allocated $200 million in the budget to increase abortion access. We still have work to do, which is what brings us here today. 17 new bills, several focused on privacy, including one that would prevent law enforcement from looking at a person's search history, a process called reverse demand. They can compel companies in California to search their records and reveal the identities of all people who are looking at a particular keyword search, like medical abortion or anything related, quite frankly, to our reproductive care and uh, where we drive down the street in front of a prenatal clinic. Another bill by Senator Nancy Skinner would protect abortion providers if they provide medical care to California residents, like sending them a pill while they are out of state for whatever reason. Even though it's crossing state lines, she says it's legal. But that is not uh, uncommon now. Jonathan Keller is the founder of the California Family Council, a pro-life organization. California is really playing with fire here. They're trying to set up a, a legal fiction of saying that the laws in other states do not apply to people here in the state of California. His biggest issue, though, was with the bill that would create a public education campaign against pregnancy crisis centers, which Democrats say are deceptive in making people believe they provide abortion care. They really are attacking one of the best features of the California social safety net, which is nonprofit organizations led by people of faith that are seeking to provide free resources and support to families in need. Some of the other bills would ensure that medical malpractice insurance covers abortion care. Another one would allow out-of-state medical graduate students like residents come to California and practice for up to 90 days. Think of it like a student exchange program. Now, Morgan, looking back to a decision from maybe about a week or two ago, what did the lawmakers have to say about the governor ending a deal with Walgreens after the company said it wasn't going to sell abortion pills in the state in some states? Well, today, Senator Nancy Skinner applauded the governor's decision to do just that. She said companies should not wither at the threat that other states pose. And then another reporter asked the senator if she was going to give back the money that she got from Walgreens. And at that point, she said that she is hopeful that Walgreens will change its way. Morgan Reiner reporting live from Sacramento. Morgan, thanks.